Now we've already looked at alpha, beta minus and gamma radiation. In beta minus decay, a neutron spontaneously converts into a proton and an electron, and the electron is emitted at a really high speed. However, there's another type of beta decay called beta plus decay, where a proton spontaneously converts into a neutron and an electron that has a positive charge. Yes, you heard that correctly, an electron that has a positive charge. So let's look at an example. Fluorine 18 is a beta plus emitter. In its nucleus, it has nine protons and nine neutrons. Let me double it up. In beta plus decay, one of the protons converts into a neutron and a positively charged electron, which is emitted at a really high speed. This positively charged electron is called a positron or a beta plus particle, which is often written as beta plus or E plus, E for electron. It is a form of what scientists call antimatter. It is identical to an electron, a normal electron, in every respect, except that it has a positive charge instead of a negative charge. Beta plus decay is also called positron emission. Let's write the nuclear equation. We start with a fluorine 18 atom. In atomic notation, this is written as 189F. One of the protons turns into a neutron and a beta plus particle. The beta plus particle can be written in atomic notation as 0, 1 beta or as 0, 1 e. The 1, positive 1, refers to the positive charge that the beta plus particle has. The 0 means that the combined number of protons and neutrons is 0. So it's a positively charged particle that is not made of protons or neutrons. It's a positron. Let's add it to the equation. Finally, let's work out what the daughter nucleus is. The daughter nucleus has one less proton than the parent nucleus, since one of the protons turned into a neutron, and so it has an atomic number of 8. This makes it the nucleus of an oxygen atom. Let's fill it in. The mass number doesn't change, since the combined total number of protons and neutrons is the same, so it remains 18. And there's the whole equation. Fluorine 18 undergoes beta plus decay and turns into oxygen 18. Notice that 9 equals 8 plus 1 and that 18 equals 18 plus 0. Beta plus decay typically occurs in nuclei that have too many protons or I suppose not enough neutrons, depending on which way you want to look at it. So what happens to a beta plus particle after it's emitted? Well, it doesn't actually last very long. Within a tiny fraction of a second, and typically within about a millimetre of where it was emitted, it crashes into an electron of a nearby random atom. As soon as the positron hits the electron, the two completely annihilate one another, and two high-energy gamma rays are produced. These gamma rays always travel in the opposite direction to each other. The two particles literally cease to exist, which is what annihilation literally means, but two gamma rays are created. The word annihilation is related to the word nil. The mass of the particles is converted into the energy of the gamma rays. Basically, in equation form, an electron plus a positron produces two gamma rays. The world down there at the atomic level is so weird. Positively charged electrons, that is, positrons, can be created seemingly out of nowhere, but really out of the energy of the nucleus, and then when annihilation occurs, two gamma rays are created out of the energy of the positron and the electron. Amazing. Thanks for watching this short excerpt from the fourth episode of the Shedding Light on Nuclear Radiation series, Beta Plus Decay. The Shedding Light on Nuclear Radiation series teaches students what nuclear radiation is and how humans have harnessed its awesome power. In episode four of the series, we'll look at what beta plus decay is and at how beta plus emitters are used in medicine. Like all of Liakos Educational Media's programs, the Beta Plus Decay program comes with an outstanding student activity sheet. Click on the link in the description below to go to the Liakos Educational Media website where you can download the activity sheet and also find out how to watch the whole program. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.